I want to be behind me. All right, R1200C. This applies to pretty much any BMW rear disc. To get these two little shit freaking head bolts off, you need to heat them. They have blue Loctite on them. You're heating up the bolt so the Loctite gets soft and or melts. If you don't do this, you'll round the head of the bolt out, and then you'll be scratching your ass wondering what the fuck to do next. Going to be drilled ahead of the bolt off, and then fight to extract the rest of the threaded part of the bolt from the ring gear. Little impact hammer, impact driver, good to have. Hammer with some weight. Get that son of a bitch nice and hot. Doesn't mean you're going to get it off either. Sometimes they come out nice, sometimes they don't come out at all. You have to drill them. If you drill them hot and you use a left handed bit, if you're lucky, it'll take the whole bolt with it. If you're unlucky, the head comes off, and hopefully you have enough thread left to grab the vice grip. And be able to extract it. Dave, when I grab it, it's free spray. Free spray. I don't know if there's enough in there. Shrink the bolt. Fifty degrees. Leaves the head of that bolt again. Serves two purposes. It makes the bolt smaller so it'll come out. It also shrinks the rounded out freaking head. So the Allen wrench fits in. Success. Without heat and without free spray, this would not have come apart this quick. Be spending a good better part of an hour drilling and fighting with this shit. As you can see, covered in Loctite. Because the morons were afraid the disc was going to fall off. Funny thing is, the wheel holds the son of a bitch on there, so you don't even need these. And that's it. R1200CLC, um, rear disc is shit, which is a common problem. The uh, floaters go bad, the disc rattles around. You can see how worn out it is here. Let's see it better when it's apart. Anyway, the factory disc is like 500 and something dollars. It's fucking ridiculous. EBC makes a very nice replacement. Part number MD615. They also give you the screws for the ABS gear. So you need to remove this. You're going to do the same process that we just did. So remove the brake disc. Get them up. Yeah, 
that, it's nice and hot. And that'll melt the Loctite. Freeze the bolt to shrink it. Be very, very careful on screwing this. If it starts getting tight, stop. Reheat it if you need to, but usually if you just hit it with free spray, it'll shrink it back down and come apart. Okay. All right, so we'll leave that there. On to number two. Which is rare and nice. BMW would certainly never do that. That would make things too convenient for the average person. Yeah, I was hoping that was going to turn a little bit. No, we'll be drilling this one. Grab my drill quickly. <clears throat> Get some more video of that new disc. Flip it over. Show the other side. It's a nice looking disc. I forget what those retail for. They're like, as I recall, they're like half the money of the BMW disc. You can get a drill bit that doesn't suck. Hard to do these days. into a fucking documentary. Have a nice day. 
wear there. Turn that off. It's only flesh. Good thing this one isn't flat rate. even comes off. True. Now we heat the ring up. Actually what I should do is just put this in my oven. And I'll try it here so we can video how this comes apart. Because most people are going to have a really unhappy spouse if you start throwing motorcycle parts in the oven in your kitchen. I do it all the time, but my wife has a sense of humor. I don't see any give right here. Everybody still awake? One fucking boring video. Hey, it's actually moving. Okay, so this is a little bit of a pain in the bottom. You can see the big space here. Actually, you could see right through the damn disc. Da -da. You could see right through there. Um, these carriers from BMW are basically pieces of shit. They wear out frequently, and it's a common issue with these R1200s. R1200C, the R1200CL, the K1200LT, that these end up rattling around. I have seen these so bad that the disc falls, and this is funny, a little funny story in itself. The reason this caliper is under here. When they were designing the K12LT, the prototype had the caliper mounted up top. The fucking thing caught on fire. So they had to sling it underneath in order to have enough cooling. But I have seen these worn bad enough where they actually, the disc moves up and down enough to wear right into this part of the caliper. And it will freaking wear right through the caliper. 
and the scalper is two halves bolted together it uh, gets ugly so change the freaking things change it before it gets that sloppy this bike only has 48,000 miles on it um, and it's worn out I would change them as preventative maintenance at 48,000 at least the stock one I don't know how long this aftermarket one will last I would suspect very much longer it has different carriers that appear to be uh, a little, little more robust than what the factory uses plus it's drilled lighter cooler quieter happier all should be good